Ten years ago, we demoted Pluto from our solar system. Well, now scientists may have found its replacement, and it's huge. Astronomers in California say there's likely a ninth planet on the outer edge of the system, and they're actually calling it Planet Nine because they're very creative scientists. <laughs> yes, yes, very numerical. <laughs> they have not yet actually spotted it, but are fairly certain this ninth planet has a mass about 10 times that of Earth and orbits about 20 times farther from the Sun than Neptune. Chief astronomer and director of the Fells Planetarium at the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia, Derek Pitts, joins us now to talk more about this exciting news. So, Derek, this is really big news in your world, but even for textbooks. You know, around the, the the globe, people who thought, "Oh, what happened to our, our nine planets?" Because right. we grew up, sure. and so now there is one, possibly. Right. possibly. So, possibly. explain. You know, how did scientists come about this discovery, possible discovery? So the way that astronomers were able to come to this is that they realized that um, some objects that they were seeing at the farthest reaches of our solar system, out near what's called the Kuiper Belt, that's in a region that's out beyond Neptune, that has a tremendous amount of material left over from the beginning of the solar system, they realized that a group of objects out there were behaving in a way that they couldn't actually completely account for mathematically. So they realized that there was a gravitational influence on them that they couldn't figure out. What they did was they calculated everything out and figured that in order for these objects to behave the way they were behaving, you'd need an object that would be about this big and about this far away. And so that's how they came to decide that there must actually be something out there. Now, the first group that did this said, there must be a, another planet out there that we can't see. Everybody says that. Mm -hmm. Everybody right. says mm -hmm. that as the right. thing to say about what's going on. <laughs> right. And so nobody really takes it seriously. However, when two other astronomers at Caltech looked at the numbers, they said, hey, wait a minute. This is, this is, this is real. Mathematically, it's possible. So possibly. it must be mathma mathematically, it looks like this is what would resolve this problem. So you know what? Maybe there is another planet out there. Let's start looking. So that's what I see now is a mathematical equation, but not right. a planet. What is it going to take to prove that there really is a planet? Right, but let me say one other thing about that. The numbers don't lie. Mm. That's the thing. The mm. numbers don't lie. It doesn't matter if we can't see it. Mm. So, for example, black holes. We can't see black holes, but mathematically we know that they exist. And so the same is true for this. The numbers don't lie. So now what we need is we need the biggest telescopes on the planet, with some additional instrumentation packages that will help to sense this object. And we also do some, need to do some refinement to figure out where in its orbit the object is, because right now we don't know where along its enormous orbit. We don't know where it is yet. Yeah, yeah that was going to be my question. So what happens now, now that this theory has been made public, what's the hope? Uh, well, the hope is that we'll find it sometime soon. I mean, everybody <laughs> hopes we'll find it tomorrow. But the, uh, you know, the world, uh, your world, everybody's going to come together basically and try to come up with those refinements that you talked about so they know where to point these giant telescopes. Yeah, that's right. So a, a, a smaller group will look at this and try to figure out what the, you know, where to look for this. And then uh, telescopes that are available where there's time available on these instruments and the instrumentation also to go on those, those telescopes will try to take a look for this. And this will go on at various observatories around the world, hopefully until somebody comes up with it. Now, once it's actually seen by one observatory, other observatories will be asked to go to this location and see if they see anything. Mm -hmm. And all this is in, in an effort to make sure that everything is confirmed as clearly as possible. I wanted to ask you, we talked about this, just how often are scientists looking up at the sky, seeing anomalies and thinking, oh, it may be this, it may be that. How often do, do these sort of things pop up in your world that we never hear about and then they get discredited? Well, this is the big thing about astronomy is that the universe is full of secrets and a lot that we don't understand. You know, in fact, if you, if you try to quantify it, we don't really know that much about the universe, although we've done incredibly well. But there's still many, many secrets. And so astronomers are always finding anomalies that then have to be figured out somehow. In this case, what makes this so exciting is it's another planet for this solar system, this solar system. And we would think that we know everything there is to know about our solar system, but we don't. Yeah. So this is attractive for that reason. And the other reason why is because, you know what? Poor little Pluto. <laughs> Poor little Pluto. That's right. Got demoted, demoted. down yeah. to dwarf planet, although it's the king of the dwarf planets, yeah. it's still not the same. But to have another planet out there lets way us out fill there. in. Yeah, yeah way Six. out there. 60 billion miles away, 15 times greater distance than uh, from Pluto, and we know that's really far. Mm -hmm. So that's what's also going to make this very, very hard to find. It's very dark, mm -hmm. doesn't reflect very much light. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a really hard target to find.
right. Sounds but, interesting. Hopefully you can come up with a better name, though, if it's proven to be true. You know, Planet Nine. No, I don't no, think so. No, that sounds like something out of a B movie. We got to get, we got to come better Plan than that. Planet Nine, Planet Nine. <laughs> no, I think we can come up with a... How about Planet Derek? Oh. No, I don't know. You got we can, something. We'll work no, on it. No, no. Right. So, no, the International Astronomical Union will work on that. <laughs> All right, Derek Pitts, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.